Hello MacWarriors and welcome to the first episode of the Molten Metal Tutorials section. Today we will be looking at how to build and play a brawling mech. But first of all I have a little request. This channel is new to YouTube and needs a little support. So if you like the video please leave a rating or even subscribe. This would help us a ton. Thank you in advance for that. But now let's dig into the building part. For this tutorial I chose the Cataphract Zero XP because it has a really nice mixture of mobility, firepower and survivability. Above that it is capable to carry an ECM and the quirks are awesome. The additional structure paired with the bonus agility make him a very tough to kill target. Let's have a quick look at the loadout. As you can see it is loaded with an AC20 and four medium pulse lasers. This loadout is designed for opening the vital parts of the enemy mechs so that you can kill them as fast as possible with some aimed blows. Or if that does not work you can cripple them as much as you can. I went for a standard 275 engine which brings the cataphract to a really nice max speed of 68.4 km per hour. Last but not least we got the Guardian ECM and an anti-missile system. Despite having the ECM I always recommend having an AMS for brawling mechs. It protects you and your team while crawling slowly into your desired range. But enough of the talk, it is time to hit the battlefield. So what are we doing with this mech? First of all we have to be very patient. Because we have very limited range, we stick with the team in the early game and guard them with our ECM and the AMS. Don't get us wrong, yes, we are a brawler and yes, we are meant to be in the middle of the fights, but running up front into the enemy's face will result in a quick death. Brawling is about timing. Get in when everyone is fighting and get out when you find yourself alone. So for now we will be running up this hill and um, yeah, give the big guys some ECM bubble. B5, B5, C4. There are some LRMs in the air, as you can see. So at that point, we go into the city and um, bring the ECM and the AMS there. Okay, we have a small cheater here, but there's nothing we can do. Alright, the big guys are going up the hill again, so we follow them. What's on the other side of D3? It is crucial to have a, have a good overview of the battlefield, so take a look at the minimap often. I put a UAV here so that I can see when the enemy is approaching. They got a lot of long range approach. I wanted to protect that Jager mech. But as you can see, the fight hasn't really started, so we are not able to do much here. Help. But it's okay, we are just waiting for now. Now the fun begins. We have a target in range, and we can approach him very safely from that hill. So let's try to sneak up on him. The important thing is, go for center torso. Always go for center torso. We have the firepower to open it quickly so that our teammates can finish the job. As you can see I'm going in and out here. Um, I don't want to expose myself too much. And um, if I get spotted I do the torso twist so that I can use my armor more, most efficiently. Now the armor is out. I'm going to move out and flank him. Here I got a little scared by the cheater. <laughs> Just had to shoot him and he would be dead. I'm pushing into B4 with his Atlas. So. 
But we have another nice target. This timber wolf won't survive much longer. As you can see, the medium pulse lasers have nice focus fire so that you can take him out very quickly. But now it's time to get out since there are many mechs behind us. So we run with our team, uh, using cover as much as possible. And blow some shots here and there. Ah, unfortunately I missed that. But another important thing you can see here is uh, providing cover. So the dragon went out of the fight and I pushed forward just to um, yeah, suppress them a little. And as you can see, we are pretty fast. We can move over the battlefield very quickly, uh, using cover as much as possible. And um, at this time, uh, we have to wait for the team to follow up, because we don't want to fight alone. OK, here I screw the <laughs> AC up. And again, go for center torso. The team will do the rest. Okay, at this point we are pretty much ahead, it is uh, 8 and 5, so we are pretty safe to go for our next target alone. Yeah, we're just pushing here. This is a stalker, a very, very scary target, but um, we have a team as a backup and as we approach we are twisting the torso again, so that the damage will be distributed um, amongst our armor. And down he goes. So there is just one target left, but that's okay because we only have three shells of AC20 ammo left and the AMS ammo is gone entirely. It was a good fight, uh, we survived and our armor is still in place. Only the right shoulder got some nasty shots from the rear. And if I had to break the brawling down to three rules, they would be... First, timing is everything. Don't rush the enemy alone. Second, use cover and twist your torso. And third, yeah. focus fire. If they are dead and you are not, you win the game. So, that was my Cataphract Zero XP as a brawler. Let's have a quick look at the stats in the end to see how much damage we dealt. Okay, um, yeah, we did a solid 600 damage with one kill and seven assists. I think that's not a bad game after all. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, I would really appreciate if you would leave a rating. Come back for more gameplay videos and tutorials. We try to upload the next as soon as possible. Hope you see you next time. Goodbye.